Why do you believe living for Jesus Christ is boring? Why? Like, why are you connecting a sinful lifestyle with fun? If you reap whatever you sow, how is living sinfully fun? Right? Like, don't you know there is a hell? If there is a hell, like, is a sinful lifestyle worth going to hell over? Is it? Like, do you really want to be tormented for an eternity for sinful pleasure? Like, what are you thinking? I know that we may not do everything right. Okay. But choosing to stay to be that way, choosing, like accepting of it, accepting to be that way, why would you want to be? Like, if you are sinning willfully, I believe you are reaping what you have sown. So I think it is wise, if you aren't doing it, to connect what you are doing wrong with the bad that is happening to you, which I believe there is bad that is happening to you. Right? Like, let me say this too. Maybe you believe a sinful lifestyle is fun because of what you see on YouTube or TV. Maybe you see Cardi B or Nicki Minaj or Lil Wayne doing stuff Maybe you see them sinning and something in your mind may say, well, Lil Wayne is famous, so if he is doing it, it must be fun. Are you connecting fun, sinful, how can I say this? Are you looking at celebrities doing wrong and believe to yourself that it is fun because they are doing it? Maybe you have low self-esteem. Maybe you have rejection issues to where you may believe dressing like, imitating, doing the wrong things like a celebrity will give you self-worth. Do you believe that? Do you? Maybe you might believe that if you do what is wrong, you are going to be accepted by a segment of people. Is this true? So, are you willing to go to hell to be accepted? So, you want friends and you want to be accepted, so you are willing to do things sinful to accomplish those things. How strange is it? If you go to hell, 
there is the lake of fire afterward. The lake of fire is worse than hell. You are willing to be tormented for an eternity for the sake of acceptance, popularity, self-worth? Are you kidding me? Are you? Kevin, I want friends. I am tired of being alone. Look now, if being a Christian means I can't have friends, which it doesn't, but if it did mean that, let me never have friends, right? Let me never have another fun day in my life if being a Christian means not having fun or having friends, right? Like, aren't you risking so much for so little? Aren't you? Aren't you? Like, whatever you can get on this earth, is it worth sacrificing a chance to reside with Jesus Christ? Heaven, New Jerusalem, and New Jerusalem. Is it worth it? For me, when I was making the transition, I was messing up so much, but it was, I guess at first, it was difficult for me to change my music, change um, what I watched to a point. I believe I mostly changed what I watch. Like making changes was kind of difficult. No, it was difficult, mostly. But as I see it now, living for Jesus Christ isn't boring. It is not. I believe once your mind begins to, what word is that? When your mind begins to renew, I believe you are going to start seeing like, why was I even interested in those things or many of those things? Like, how could I like, how is it possible I was that type of person? I am telling you, you may begin thinking in that way when you change. Once your mind begins to renew more and more and more, I believe this process, I believe we are supposed to grow more and more like Jesus Christ. And I think as you grow in Jesus Christ, your mind will renew more and more. I truly believe so. Even I, I still have room for improvement. So much, I think. So my mind, if I am saying this correctly, needs to be renewed more because I am not 100% perfect now. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Sinning is not fun. It may seem fun. Probably because you are not looking at the consequences. You may believe jumping off a bridge is fun. But... Are you looking at what is going to happen afterward? You may believe jumping out an airplane is fun with no parachute, 
But are you looking at the consequence? Are you? You may believe messing with 1,000 women is fun, but are you looking at the consequence? You can't just look at something and not consider what may happen afterward, right? Depending on the situation, I guess. Sin is not fun, it is dangerous. Myself, I believe thoughts of doing what is wrong comes to my mind so much. But I must consider what may happen to me after sinning. For me, it is not worth it. I already had a lifestyle of sinning, going back. I mean... Sinning, going back, sinning, going back, sinning, going back. Like this back and forth, sinning and trying to go back to Jesus, then sinning again, then going back. Like this back and forth. I don't want that anymore. I don't want it and I don't need it. Some people may believe when they get to heaven, heaven is going to be born. How is that possible? If God made earth and everything on it, and if you enjoy earth, why wouldn't you enjoy heaven? I think some people believe that we are only going to sing hymns and play on harps and that's it, like sing to Jesus or something like that. Are you kidding me? Do we do that here? <laughs> I believe there is going to be a time to praise God, yes, but are you trying to say that that's all we are going to do? Makes no sense to me. I guess you could praise him all you want in heaven, but I don't think we have to do it the entire time. Don't let demons play with your mind and make you send yourself to hell. I'm serious now. Let me stop here.